port leg, when the giant Goliath crane at the Pullman General Dynamic Shipyard collapsed and killed a 28-year-old Weymouth man on Thursday. Robert Harvey, a former Quincy native, died when leg support gave way on the Goliath while he and his co-workers were in the process of dismantling the giant crane. Quincy Police responded at 1226 when we received multiple 911 calls for a crane collapse on the floor of the shipyard. Uh, the units responded down there and what they found was that there were several people injured on the ground. Though several people were tended to, one of the victims they were unable to get to initially because it was uh, the, because the crane had, the portion of the crane, Goliath crane, had collapsed on top of them. Uh, so it, at that point became a recovery effort. The victims were attended to, uh, taken to Quincy Medical Center. There was two that were transported and two treated on scene. Uh, the two that were treated on scene were treated and released. The two that at Quincy Medical were also treated and released. Word of the tragedy spread rapidly. I didn't really see anything. I um, just heard a big bang. So I came over here to see if I thought maybe it might have been a car accident. Maybe I would have been able to help somebody out. You know? But uh, when I came, I just seen what I see now, you know? Okay. Can't really be much help. An onlooker of the scene said, Obviously, as you can see, one of the legs has been cut and it's misaligned now. So, if you look from the side, you can see it's, it's starting to tilt uh, downward okay. towards the water and over those tanks. Police and firefighters ordered iron workers to stay away from the scene upon arriving. Rescue workers approached the giant crane after. An engineer determined the giant crane was not in danger of immediate collapse. We evacuated a number of the buildings in the shipyard area here in the immediate vicinity in case there was, you know, the, the, the main portion of the crane fell or anything like that. So we wanted to make sure that um, anybody in the immediate area was safely attended to as well. Norfolk County District Attorney William Keating said federal and safety inspectors were determined that the site is safe enough for workers to continue taking down the giant crane. Heavily on federal authorities to say investigate this from an engineering construction standpoint. It's just a very sad day here in Quincy. It's a day where a landmark has become a tragic memorial. So it's the life of a 28-year-old man, truly wet, has been taken. Robert Harvey grew up in Quincy and besides currently Wayman. Extend my sympathies to the family of, of Mr. Harvey and his, his uh, not only his, his family by blood, but also the family of the iron workers that he belongs to. Uh, and it's uh, it's a sad occasion, it's a tragic occasion. Uh, it reminds uh, this life crane has been talked about for, for a couple of years what would happen to it. Uh, and, uh, just reminds us that uh, the different age, uh, uh, but also reminds us. An accident like this, that uh, the work of the iron workers and so many other trades do, uh, is still dangerous uh, jobs. Additional details about the accident at the former General Dynamics Shipyard are available in the Plymouth News and at its online website, www.wickedlocal.com forward slash Weymouth. Reporting to you for the Weymouth News, this is